Hey guys, I'm Georgia Pellegrini, author of Modern Pioneering, and we're here in my home in Austin, Texas, where I've lived for two years. So my house I would call primitive modern. It sort of has a lot of open, white, neutral spaces, and I've given it a lot of warm touches, sort of made it my own, brought back a lot of fun, primal bits from my adventures in the wild, and then of course some of those girly touches as well. When you first walk into the house, you see these glass bubbles in the door that are filled with these bright orange figurines. It's sort of a fun, whimsical entrance into the house. Uh, then I have a lot of my grandparents' photographs on the wall. I have one of my mother, actually, from the 70s in a New York City fire escape that my dad took. Um, and it opens up really quickly. You have a wall on the right that's two stories. It's um, basically the top of that wall is filled with 19 overlapping skylights. And so at certain points of the day, you get these really beautiful streaks of diagonal light. And then you keep going and you, it opens up into a living room. Uh, what I love about it, probably one of my favorite features, is that you look out into a sliding glass door which will open up almost fully onto the stream. Uh, in the stream you have that beautiful sound of the trickling water. And there's you know, my dining table that's made of, out of reclaimed wood and it's filled with some fun projects from my book, The Mason Dar Lanterns. So when you go up the staircase you see my stenciled stairs. I, spent a lot of time figuring out how to get the perfect risers on my stairs and it was a fun project. I'm really into the color gold right now, so a lot of my silverware is gold. I have a lot of these sort of gold accents around the house. There's my master bedroom with a rain shower, which I adore. Um, and then just a really simple bedroom. It's still a work in progress. And then the first room on the left is my office. And it's one of my favorite places. Um, I have a bulletin board above my computer. and. I get these wonderful emails from different readers and fans around the country and every once in a while when one really touches my heart, I'll print it out and, and push it into that bulletin board, especially on days when it becomes sort of intense. Um, I can just look up and remember why I do what I do. I call my style primitive modern mostly because I love all of these textures and, and pieces of things that I bring back from my travels. Um, as most people know, I, I spend a lot of time these outdoor adventures, hunting and gathering. And so I'll bring feathers back, I'll bring pieces of, of talons back, some antlers back. The idea being that I want to incorporate things that are really a part of my life into my home. Make your home an extension of your personality and who you really are. I think this is such a raw space that it could have felt really sterile pretty easily. And so for me it was about finding textures and layers and color and fabrics and feathers and furs and, and things that really um, gave it that feeling of warmth and um, a little bit of edginess at the same time.